Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. There, like that. Slightly back from that, but it's at least now put that one into the system and it's being charged. There's nothing else that I need to do here. It's a really, really easy setup. So I'll put you in here. And then I'm just going to need these on every other one. So it's going to go up there like that. And it's going to go here and here and here and here. Job done. So there's the cement. We're doing that. Then I can go in here and I can go craft. Concrete. So I need three stone. Six times cement. Sand. Water. So I need to get more sand over here. Now the lime bit and... Actually, that's a point. Where's the lime coming from? That's stepping across from over here. Uh, that's over this side. It's coming up from down here. There's the lime. It's coming out of here. I've literally got one factory right there. And we're, we're going to need larger quantities of this. Which means that we're actually going to need more sand over here. And we need more sand into other bits as well. I mean, I've got the lime going there. That's... Oh, that's limestone that comes into there. Limestone goes that way. This is only a wash plant level one as well. All right, let's go and have a look about down there and deal with that. So that's another bit of stuff that's finished processing and this is all like the personal roboport type approaches uh we've got crawler cargo robots level two early but slow robots for logistics tasks can carry many items at once what is that what's the difference between these two speed 8.6k so what's the standard ones Let's go back up and have a look. There's the standard ones. Speed, 4.3. They're double the speed. These new robots that we're looking at are double the speed of the early ones. They also need some significant ingredients. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to make a robotic flamethrower attack drone. That does actually sound pretty cool. That does actually sound pretty cool. Robotic attack. Flamethrower attack drone. Yeah, there's there's no denying that that does actually sound pretty cool. Um, all right, let's, let's go and do another blue one up here. We've got red algae processing. That, I think, is something that's going to be quite useful to us. And I was wandering down this way. So I need to make two... Wash plant level two. Let's just make sure that we've got the ingredients to do that. Water treatment over here. Yes, I do. One, two of them. And we want to go around this way. All the way through here. And it's these two. I want to upgrade these two. I've got wash plant level two all the way over there. Uh, you are a wash plant level one there. For that mud that's for these bricks over here. We'll upgrade those two as well. Right, so I want to go in here. That is... Is that correct? Yep. That is correct. And it's going to be the same down here. So we can do that and we can do that. So that's increase the speed that that is going to go through, which... I'm kind of hoping will increase the speed this goes through as well. We've got limestone right in there, and then that comes out as lime. Four lime coming out. We get some carbon dioxide coming out. Is it carbon dioxide? Yes, carbon dioxide comes out as well. So this produces carbon dioxide in this process, which I'm not actually using anywhere. I'm just burning it off. That's fine. It doesn't really matter if we are or we aren't. Uh, then I've got the sand coming in over here. I've only got a thousand demanded on this, but that does actually seem to be enough. So we don't need to worry about that. And then in here, I've got the lime coming up through. Once the concrete has taken all of the lime that it needs, we won't need to worry about anything else. So I don't need to do anything more there. That bit can be left. So we'll go back up this way now and go back to the concrete bit. 
we just started on. Where have we got that's working over here? So we got these. I got 1,400 of them so far. It means all of our processes right across the map are currently going to be working. Like I've got all of this lot is currently working, which means that all of the other processes are going to be operational as well. Just until we filled up a few more chests. And in here we have a few hundred cement. Right. So if I got a few hundred cement there, I'm going to want next to go to... Uh, no, not usage. I want you to use them. Craft. Stone brick is easy and I can bring that over by flight. That's not going to be a problem. Concrete right here. I need six cement. I need three sand. I've got the sand down in another part of the map. It's going to have to be sort of flown up. And then I'm going to want stone up here as well. Now, at the moment, I've got stone being produced from one of my processes somewhere here. I've got a load of stone being produced here, and I'm using some of it to make a load of stone bricks. And we've got more stone bricks are going to need to be brought over for making the cement. And... Then I'm actually going to need stone itself being brought over. I don't have any of this going into a separate chest. Provider chest. Which I'm going to have to do. So we'll do that off of here. Although it's further away. Or should we? I mean, this is the area that I'm going to use to make this stuff. Can I bring it in and on a belt? No, that's, I'm not going to be able to bring that on a belt. Right, okay, so I will set up a chest for stone that we can then bring back with robots to make our concrete. I'm going to drop the chest right down there like that. And I'm going to put in a small remote charging station. Actually, that one can just pop down right there and... Everything is tickety-boo. And then this one can go here and here like that. And I've now got the stone loading in. We've got the red algae processing all finished. We can't go with ooh, excuse me, blue algae processing yet. But we do have alien microbe processing right there. Which is actually the next thing available. Which will give us alien spores. Uh... Polluted artificial fish water gives sulfuric waste and alien spores. Alien bacteria. Petri dish. More petri dishes with growth medium. Inoculated petri dish. All sorts. Uh, not entirely sure what we'd use that for, but we will research it nonetheless. Seems like it could be interesting, and we will mosey our way on back over to our construction zone. I'm hoping that we'll have enough sand coming out of this down here, plus uh, another little bit over here. Actually, we haven't got any coming out over there. We've got a little bit over here, but that's being used elsewhere. Uh, so anyway, I'm hoping that there will be enough sand on the map for us to be able to make what we want to make here we do now have the cement being made i just need to get water i may have been a little bit hasty with digging that all the way over to there but i don't think we've been unnecessarily hasty uh yeah that's Landfill that I'm making there. So if I make a pump a minute. Offshore pump right there. Real quick. I can plonk that down here. When I could. I can just drop it down there a little bit further back. Put that in there. Oh, I wonder if it could go in here. Pick that one up. No, I can't put it into the single gap. I've got to bring it out over here. So we'll drop it down there like that. And then we will use the 
water that we get off it that's going to come out over here like this and we need to actually start making the concrete so on that one this is just made in a normal assembling machine to give us the liquid concrete and i don't want to do the slag one i want to do this one so i need sand cement stone i've got the cement coming from here uh I think the way I'm going to do this, actually, is if I bring that over and down like that, they will continue to pick things up and put on the belt there. And I will do this to put it back onto the belt over this side. I'll keep it on one side of the belt because then I've got some other stuff I can put on the other side of the belt. And we'll drop that one in there like that. So we're only loading on one side. we we'll run down here. The other ones are only loading on one side anyway, so if it comes past there, that's not going to affect anything. Uh, I want to put in some assembling machines, so let's run a few of these along here like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I'm going to take one of these out back this way a little bit. You know what? There's no need to go cramming them in like this. Let's remove those. We'll bring them down a bit. I could actually put them over this side and go in an upwise direction. There's six of them there. So we'll go into here and we want to make copper powder, iron powder. We can make all these different powdered things. We've got the biologically active tiles as well, which absorb pollution, which I think is actually a really cool thing. Um, not that it's really going to matter to us. Pollution doesn't really make any difference. But, I mean, maybe we could sort of do something with that a bit later on and see about removing pollution from the whole thing. 20 concrete, 1 steel, 1 iron rod gives us refined concrete right there. Concrete brick walking speed 150%. Refined concrete walking speed 150%. So we can use concrete brick or refined concrete. 140, 140. So I guess they just look different. But anyway, it's concrete brick that we want to be making. No, it isn't. And I'm, I'm not quite up to that point yet. So we want to change that recipe. It's over here. It's the actual concrete bit that we want to do first. So we've got four recipes that we want to... There are four recipes, four ingredients that we want to bring into here. The first, actually, I'm going to need to swivel these over. And I was going to do 12 of these. I was thinking to do 12 of them so that I've got like a whole load of them all the way around. And that one's finished already. So now we can go with butchery over here. This gives raw meat... From Dorflerp, Jellyfish, Livacfish, Factorian Fish, and from Santa Rays. All in there. I don't know what you use raw meat for, but we'll research that one as well. Uh, I was originally thinking that I would go for more than just six. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and get some more factories a minute. I could just make a few, but I don't want to. I'm going I'm to run off and get some more factories. I think we'll put 10 of them in a line, and we won't do any more than that. I was thinking about sort of doing a, a double up, a double line and having 12 of them there. But I don't think that would actually be a good idea because of the number of ingredients that we've got to put into it. Ah, there's the factories. I'm looking around for them. Uh, they're right in here. So I've got you over this side. One, two, like that. Why aren't you making any more at the moment? What is it that you're waiting on? You are waiting on enhancement block one, mechanical block one, fluid. You, you're waiting on everything. I don't understand. work oh there's been a big change in the recipe which is why it doesn't work anymore 
Uh, this one does work. That one's just fine. And this one over here, this one works just fine as well. But this one has had a recipe change. We now need enhancement block one, mechanical block one, fluid box one, and construction block. Whereas previously we wanted these ingredients. Assembling machines, mechanical parts, construction frames, and electronics blocks. So I don't need any of these. So I get rid of those requirements there. And instead I got to ask for these. So you right click and you paste onto there. And it puts in the necessary ingredients in here. And then I can change them around. So construction block number one. I'm going to just increase those numbers to 2,000. Because it's only two stacks. Uh, fluid blocks. Uh, I will do the same. Two stacks of those. What do I actually need for these? Just It's one of everything. And then in here I've got the mechanical block right there. 2,000 of those, and enhancement blocks right here, I should just have a 1,000. You know what? I should have a 1,000 of each of these. I think 2,000 is a little bit towards overkill. There. Perfect. What am I going to do with all these mechanical parts? That's a lot of mechanical parts right there. I've got the basic assembly machines, which I don't actually need anymore. I can take those electronic ones, but the mechanical parts? What can I use them for? Let's be able to make something with them. Angels tech, angels blocks right here. Mechanical parts. What use is up these? If I can just, like, make a few things on me. Nothing uses mechanical parts. I've got all these mechanical parts. What am I supposed to use them for? There, that one. Production block. Oh. Yeah, I use quite a... No, I, I only... I, I literally just use a, a, a small handful. And... Motor 1. Doesn't use very many of these, though. All these mechanical parts that I've got here, it doesn't use very many, which I don't really like. Uh, and I've got a few more there. The enhancement blocks, they're coming in as enhancement block one. I've got one and two on me at the moment. What am I supposed to do with these? I rarely use it. I need to go and find something else that's using them. And, I mean, there's a whole load of them over here, but that's because... Actually, that's not because of anything. So, where are they? They're going down here. Just so they go into a chest and they can be used. So, where else are they being used? And then maybe I can get rid of a few of them. Uh, they're coming into these data cores. Ideal. Right, we'll chuck a few of them in here for the data cores. Like that. A few more there. Right, now I've got two stacks. That's that's a little bit more like it. Okay, so I've corrected the issue that we had there. We're now making these. We're doing a magnificent job of it as well. I've got plenty of these bad boys, the fluid boxes and everything else. My only issue is that I'm not bringing over the parts quite fast enough so what i'm gonna do get rid of that one i'm gonna put that one down i've got no wait what huh. okay well i'll have to put that one back but what i'll do instead is if i go in to Angel Bob's logistics over here. Fast stack inserter. There, yeah, I don't want a filter one. I just want a regular fast stack inserter. What am I missing? Oh, the, the tinned stuff. And I'll put that one down there instead. Ah! I'm pressing the wrong button. I've been playing a different game. And slightly different controls on it. Let's try that again, shall we? 
Right, that's a bit faster. We've got a fast stack inserter there now. That, that seems to work a little bit better than it was. Okay, that's good. Butchery has now finished research. The next item that we can do, we can, oh, wait a minute. We can do the fish refugium over here. That one doesn't require these, the alien plant life samples, which we're not able to get yet. So we will start the fish refugium and then it's going to be alien farming. And then we'll probably be working on some of these other bits over here, working our way through them. Uh, this one in here, I'm... Uh, I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to let this one fill up completely now. Just for something different and tempted to do the same with these. Although we don't actually need them now. They're no longer part of the ingredients for the next level. Same as these. Like none of them require the previous incarnation to make. Which... Yeah. All right. Well, let, let's let's not worry about that at the moment. I I actually had purpose over here. I, I had purpose to my existence, and then I went and forgot about that purpose because I got distracted momentarily. We need to try and stay on point here. I got so many things that I need to try to finish and get built and so on, so that I can make all of these different items that I actually want to go and make. So I wanted to add in. I've got six, seven, eight. 9 and 10 in there. And then I want to copy that one. I want to paste it. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate them all around like that. And then I'm going to have the water coming in on this one. And I'm just going to do a straight pipe all the way down there like that. And now i got to get the ingredients going in and then we've got a pipe that can come out that side so we're gonna put this one hmm what do I need for the ingredients first three stones six cement three sand But we've only got one liquid coming out as the finished product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this all the way up there like that. And do I want to put this into a storage tank is the next big question. So if I go into here and I go into this one and I go for the liquid concrete right there and I go to usage... We can turn it into concrete there, or we can turn it into concrete brick right there, and we can turn it into reinforced concrete brick. So I am going to actually want to go and use this. Therefore, I'm going to want to get... What have we got up there? That is nothing that I want to use at the moment. Where's my nearest supply chest? Is that a, that's not a supply chest. I need a supply chest so that I can order in some tank. There's a supply chest over there. I want to order in a few tanks. I got any? Oh, I've got some. Ideal. Right. I'll leave one of those behind, and I'll take nine tanks. We will do nine tanks of concrete. I know storing concrete in tanks is never really a good idea. It does kind of tend to want to solidify in the tanks but i'm hoping we can work through that we've got some fairly decent advances in science that we've made lately uh you know to craft all of the different stuff that we're crafting here so i feel that we're probably all right for making this other stuff as well now this one right here i'm going to actually take that out by one block that's going to come over to there and it's going to run down here like this it's going to get to that point right there now because i want six of these i am also going to have this loading on both sides of the belt so we're going to go to you down here and we're going to put that on the near side of the belt like that i'm going to copy and paste and i'm going to paste that onto every other one like this 
there and I'm also going to paste it onto one of these so that one loads on the near side of the belt as well so we have them loading on both sides of the belt to come down through this way then we are going to go one and two and three and so on and we're going to put one in the middle of each of these up through here like this they are going to have a long pick up and drop off like that and I'll copy that one and run it all the way down through so I've got that side and then I'm going to do another belt over here this one is going to be similar I'm not going to do it just one space out I'm going to do it two spaces out only this one is going to go like that actually I want to come down a little bit further I'm going to come down here like this and I'm going to have a requester chest I'm actually going to have two requester chests for this one have I either got to do two requester chests or I've got to do two filter inserters. And I think probably two requester chests is going to work slightly better for what i got in mind. So we'll do it like this. And we will put a power pole and a power pole. And then I will put a small remote charging station right there. So that's right. No, that's going to be in the wrong spot. It's got to go up there so it's out of the way also going to just make sure that this is connected across by plonking an extra one right in there this i'm going to request stone into here so that goes under resource refining i got stone right there and i want uh four thousand stone brought over for that one Let's get another research going. So the next research is alien farming right there. Let's start that one up. And then this side, I need sand brought over. Now that one goes under bioprocessing. No, it doesn't. Bioprocessing, it's not going to be any of those. It's going to be under water treatment. Uh, sand right there. So I'm also going to have this one as uh, 4,000 sand like that. There we go. So that one I've got 4,000 on the way, and that one I've got 4,000 on the way as well. And then we put one, two, one, two, like that. And then down here I go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then. Yep. Put that one out like that, all the way down through. So I've got the long pickup and drop off on there. And then we can put power poles all the way up that way. And I can also put power poles all the way down this way as well. Right. Is that bit done? I need to put my concrete tower in my my concrete storage in uh the bricks right there to make them i need stone bricks and i need the liquid concrete so i need stone bricks brought over in order to be able to make it if i was to put nine tanks down there i could do the concrete bricks out over this side that would be actually that would work out all right so we'll put the storage in just here we'll, we'll have this little gap right here which is where we'll, we'll put in the storage Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.